Hi, Sharon Smith here. Today I'm going to take you through a basic tutorial on how to tap. That would be how to do emotional freedom technique, EFT, but I just call it tapping. Now there are lots of tutorials out there. This is simply the way that I usually do it. So this is just my take on it. But so many of you have asked for me to do this, so I decided I would just create something for you. Now, a lot of you are tapping for physical issues, for physical pain. And if you've done any video work with me, you know that you are tapping and working with the emotions underneath that physical manifestation that you have in your body. It's just the symptom of the underlying emotional stuff. So I want you to keep that in mind. Even though you're going to identify the pain that you're working with, if it's physical, you always want to pair it, I call it pain pairing, you always want to pair it with the emotions. Now if you're not sure what emotions you're experiencing around it, go get my free gift. It's called Stop the Pain. It's a guided visualization to let you see what's really going on underneath your thing, your pain. Uh, the link is below this video when you click show more. Oh, I made my nose itch. Uh, but usually you can tune in. Now another thing to remember is always ask. If you've got pain, the most important thing you can ask is when did it start? When did it start? Yeah! And what was going on in your life in that time leading up to this occurrence, this pain, this problem, whatever? What was happening in your personal life? What was happening for you professionally? Was there stress? Was there turmoil? And you're usually going to find the answer is yeah. And then I want you to tune in to the emotions that you're feeling around that. Write them down if you need to. Make a list and tap on those one at a time. So when we're starting to tap, and I'm, I'm going to assume basic knowledge of the tapping points, but I'll take you through them a little here. We're going to start on the outside of the hand. It's sometimes called the karate chop point, and it's either hand, either side. There's, you, you can, or when we do face points, you can tap with both hands if that feels good to you. So we're starting out here, and we're going to use what's called a setup phrase. And this is where you want to identify the problem. Okay, you're letting your brain know, you're pulling that file up in your mind, in your brain, displaying the problem. Okay? And let's just say I've got this pain in my shoulder, if you've got shoulder pain. Even though I have all this pain in my shoulder, I choose to be okay anyway. Even though I've got a lot of pain in my shoulder, it really hurts to move. I completely love and accept myself. And I love my shoulder. I think we want to love our body parts too. Okay, now you're going to say that at least two or three times. That's your setup. But when you get to the top of the head, I want you to start talking about emotions. Say, this is where you're going to say, well, I fell and hurt my shoulder. And that was a whole month before this pain started. And I can't seem to get rid of it. And my marriage was falling apart. I felt despair. I felt betrayed. I felt anger. And I felt overwhelmed by all of those feelings. And I fell and hurt my shoulder. So you've tied the two things together in your brain. What was happening with some emotions and that thing that happened. You want to tie them together a little bit. Just to begin working with it. But I'm open to healing this now. Underneath your arm. Because I completely love and accept myself. Now I hold wrist points top and bottom. This point right here is pericardium 6. This is for the pericardium, the chest area, and I'd seen someone else do that and say peace. I always do that. Take a breath. 
Throw it out and say peace. It feels really good. I think that's a great way to close a round of tapping. Now, you're going to want to go back, look at your list, and work through the emotions that you're using. I like to always, before you tap, and I forgot to tell you first, quantify this. Give it a number between 0 and 10, with 10 being overwhelming pain or overwhelming anger, whatever you've got going on, and 0 being none, no pain or no anger. Quantify it by giving it a number, then tap, then stop, tune in, and measure and see where your number is. It's really good to note that your progress is happening. I mean, you'll notice, you'll see your number dropping. So then you're going to go back in and work with the emotions. And you can just go to the top of the head. You can set it up again if you want, if that feels good to you, but you don't have to. And start again and say, I feel really betrayed. Even though I know he isn't leaving me for someone else, I feel abandoned and betrayed. And I have all this stuff to do and I'm overwhelmed. All the things that he did, now I have to do for myself. And I've stuck all that stuff in my shoulder and it really hurts. But I'm open to letting it go now. And then I like to use words like, I allow myself to let go of the pain in my shoulder. It's safe for me to let go of feeling overwhelmed. I choose to let go of feeling overwhelmed. It's safe for me to let go of the pain in my shoulder. I allow myself to relax. It's safe for me to let go of this and relax. All of this overwhelm, all of this upset, it's safe for me to relax because I do completely love and accept myself. And I love my shoulder. This points. Peace. Now you've paired those. Yeah, you've paired those. You've got your brain understanding that this pain you've got going on is related to that thing. Now, the best thing for you to do is to go back and work with the emotions that you have around that event or that thing that was happening and stop thinking about the shoulder don't you've already connected those go through and tap all the all the ways you feel about this and do that until you get those numbers either to maybe a one two or three or to zero if you can for everything that you're feeling and take them one at a time then stop and measure because you're going to see your pain level decrease because you've already paired it to that pain. Okay, so I hope this helps. It's uh, just the way I like to do this, and you know, let me know if you're enjoying my work here on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe, like this video. If you're really enjoying it, you can click the thanks button and buy me a cup of coffee. Buy me two cups of coffee. I really like coffee. Buy me lunch, buy me dinner. I appreciate you. Come back and do some more of this with me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Mwah.